All right, guys, it's not one thing, it's another thing, or I don't know how that saying goes. Uh, woke up today and I had just a little ting of hip pain and uh, went by, our, went through our day, went to Starbucks, I did some more editing. We got our hitch to Walker Pass um, at four. And then, uh, and then I got here, we got my pack on, did half a mile, and my sciatica is killing me on my right side. So I told Fluffernutter to just go ahead and, you know, do his own pace. And, you know, I might see him later tonight if I keep walking, but I'll definitely see him at Kennedy Meadows since he'll be there till the 8th. Uh, but yeah, the man is rough. Sciatica pain fucking sucks, man. And hopefully it, it gets better, not worse. All right, well, who made this cruel joke? I can't reach it. Like, my head comes up to here. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> I love that I named a Fluffernutter. It was Michael. He was a JVJ, I believe. I don't know. John Von something from Lady Miserables, which I I like that play. And I guess he kind of looks like him. But Fluffernutter. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. So it's been a mile or two miles or so. And I just wanted to put my headlamp on and my beanie. And I'm gonna eat a candy bar real quick to get some energy up. And then I'll be on my way again. It's desert out here. Like five trees. But uh, yeah. Um, the first water source is in 11 miles. But it's um, on gut hooks, it says there's traces of uranium. So I packed out enough water to get me to the next one which is 17 miles and uh yeah the weight of it sucks but um I'd rather be safe than sorry anyways i'm just taking my time there's a campsite in two miles campsite in four miles um and then after that a campsite in 13 so kind of aiming for the 13 that seems good with my sciatica acting up but if it's before that that's fine i literally have plenty of time i have i think 40s worth of food that i could maybe squeeze out to five if i needed which i don't three or three or four days is enough and it's uh wednesday night right now and my dad's coming to kennedy meadows monday so i literally have thursday friday saturday sunday four days and then i could even and then i'm hiking tonight so that's some miles and then i could even um, finish miles on Monday because he won't be there for a while. So I have plenty of time. Taking my time. I do not want to further injure my sciatica nerve because that could take me off trail. Um, yeah, but what a fucking peaceful, beautiful night. I'm I'm really happy to be out trail. I left Fluffernutter because I because I told him because the sciatica and I didn't want to hold him back. But um, I kind of like being by myself the first night to get in the groove. Um, it's like, I don't know, I'm wonky when I first get back on trail and then it, then it starts setting in and I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, I'm in a good mood. Oh my God. I hear coyotes, but way off into the distance. Hopefully they stay that way. If it's not fucking mountain lions, it's coyotes. Oh my God. Ah! It's uh, night time now. We're getting there. Still got about three miles uphill. And, uh, yeah. Guys, we finally got it. 
the scorpion. Ah. There he goes. Scorpion. Wow. He's pretty big too. All right, well, I'm gonna let him be. Although that was pretty cool. So now I've seen a scorpion on trail. All that's left is a tarantula. Because I've seen a rattlesnake, and I've seen a cougar, and I've seen coyotes in the distance, luckily. <sighs> so the tarantula is all that's left. And those fuzzy little legs. So I just passed someone that was uh, cowboy camping. Um, and I feel bad because I made a ruckus because I thought I saw eyes, but I don't think it was anything. That was just me seeing shit. Um, so yeah, it, it, I don't know why, but it, it like, it, excuse me. I feel safer knowing that there's someone behind me camping. So like I could run to them or something. And I definitely know that people are in front of me. So I just feel, you know, safer. Oh, uh, a baby scorpion, hold on. This guy's freaking tiny. <laughs> wow, it's Scorpion City up here. I gotta be really careful where I fucking um, step. Well, this guy, he wouldn't have hurt me, but I would have killed him, that's for sure. All right, moving on. Ooh ah! Oh my God. I am pretty uh, aware of my surroundings right now. <laughs> Scorpions and rattles and all kinds of Jesus. All right. God, this is an even smaller one. It's like I've seen Papa, Mama, and Baby. They are out tonight. Like I have to be really careful where I step. All right, guys. Um, these are giant ants. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen them this fucking big. It's hard to tell on the video. Oh my God, they're scattering. Oh God, they're scattering. Okay, I gotta, I mean, uh, you, who knows if they bite. Just ginormous, my goodness. All right, we're on our way, guys. We're gonna just hiking, hiking, hiking. Do, do, do. All right, guys, I found the smallest one. Yeah, this bad boy. Tiny. There's my shoe. This is the sixth scorpion I've seen now on trail. This is a scorpionlicious trail, that's for sure. And what the issue is, is it makes hiking slower because I have to watch where I step. Uh, and it's dark, so yeah, I'm not going as fast as I would want, like to. Holy shit, I lied. This is the smallest scorpion. Look at that. It's the size of my fingernail. Ugh, they're everywhere. Hey guys, it's about um, 10.30 right now. It's a little windy, sorry. Um, I'm trying to find a campsite so I can sit down and have like a dinner or like fourth meal. <laughs> and also I need to put a brace on my ankle. It's starting to really hurt me. Um, I just got to a campsite, but someone was there. And so I didn't want to disturb them. So there's one in 0.8 miles, and hopefully that one's uh, not taken. And so I can eat my peanut butter and jelly and put my brace on and so forth. All right, I'll get, get to you when I get there. I found this uh, rock area. It's perfect to sit on, and I'll have lunch here. Um, it is windy, though. That sucks. This is uh, dinner for tonight, or fourth meal. It's uh, like 11 p.m. Having my peanut butter jelly on these little thins. Peanut butter jelly packet. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty excited. All right, guys, small problem. Every campsite I've been to has been full for the last like four miles. Um, the last one I tried to squeeze in, but the, the spot was like on a ridge. So it was really windy. I couldn't set up my tent. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll cowboy camp. 
But then I was like, you know what? Let's just do the eight miles to the next site. Cause then I'll be so close to water tomorrow. Won't have to worry. And you know, putting the miles in. Um, it's like around midnight right now. So to get those eight miles in, I have to do two miles an hour. Cause I'd like to get to bed by 4 a.m. And what would be amazing is if the campsite had a tree that I could camp under so I could get some good sleep. But we, we shall see. Um, I can sleep during the day, no problem. I just have to be under shade. So I might have to move around when the sun comes out. Um, just feeling good hiking, but now I'm starting to get like a little sketched out. Um, there's like eight miles with no way marks. So I keep saying so. Um, kind of makes me nervous. Like, you know, there's nothing around. It's probably just like a ridge line. Anyways, I'll catch up when I get to camp. Over and out. Here we have it guys, the sunrise. Okay guys, I know you can barely see me, but the sun's starting to come up. I am a magnet for mountain lions, for cougars. When Fluffer Nutter wanted to call me Cougar Bait, well, that should be my new trail name, I think. Last night I was hiking. I was cruising. Night hiking is my jam, man. And around midnight, I came across a mountain lion. Now this is the scariest instance I've had with a mountain lion. It's worse than Julian. It was behind a tree, ready to pounce. I could see its whole body. Ready to pounce. And it was like two feet away from the trail. It was waiting for me to come across it and it was going to pounce on me. It, I, when I saw it, I screamed, Hey, Hey, Hey bear. And, uh, started making noise with my trekking pole and it ran off luckily, but I was terrified. I just f was freaking out because it was going to attack me. It was, um, luckily I had service. And I called my sister, I was like one, and she answered. And I was too scared to move. I just kept looking around with my headlamp over and over. I went through the batteries. I had to go through my, my backup. And I love my sister so much. She stayed on the phone with me for three hours until 4.30 when the sun started peeking out right now. This was probably the most terrifying experience I've had on trail so far. And I don't know if I'm gonna night hike ever again.
your environment is totally changing. It feels a lot more like the Sierras. Like, uh, we're getting close. I mean, we've got pine trees and, and uh, granite mountains. And really beautiful sunrise. Let's see if I can catch it. I'm so tired. So, I've been just hiking, trying to get to that water source because it has five campsites. And that's the closest campsite from where I was with the mountain lion. Um, I think I only have three miles left and it's 6.30. So I'm gonna get there at 8, 8.30. And I am so hoping that there's trees um, so I can make, set my tent up under shade and get as much sleep as possible. I am so exhausted. Um, it's all that adrenaline. Um, that it just makes, it makes you tired once you're not feeling it anymore. Um, and uh, I'm not making any plans. I just want to get some sleep and we'll see what happens after. Taking a small break. My hips are killing me. But looking at this view, you know, it's a, it's a valley and uh, there's nothing around. It's kind of cool. This is where I camped all day. 